talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers cutback podcast time. And it's getting to that point where the New England Patriots cut a man loose a year early before <clears throat> he gets too old. 31-year-old Stephon Gilmore, could they trade him? The rumors are a second-round pick would probably get Stephon Gilmore. I'm guessing it takes a little bit more. Somebody sweetens the deal. But Stephon Gilmore is going to be available, Horse. Would you make that trade? Yeah, I definitely would if... You can get your hands on a player like Stephon Gilmore without giving up your first round pick. I think that's a huge deal. He's still playing at a very, very high level, even though he's 31 years old. Um, you're only talking about a salary that Niners would have to pay of about $7 million, which is even cheaper than what they paid Richard Sherman this past year. So, I mean, that's a big deal. You're getting a guy, a better player than Sherman at a cheaper price. Um, the Patriots would still be on the hook for the rest of it. So at that point, you're not forced into taking a corner high in the draft. You could do more of, oh, you know, I like this guy better. Maybe take a different player. Or if the corner you want falls to you, you also take a corner in the first round. But it definitely opens up their options. And I think for the level of player Stefan Gilmore is, giving up a second and even like a sixth or fifth to get him is well worth it. Even if it's only for the one year, it definitely opens up the 49ers options as far as the defensive backfield goes. And he's another guy that's great out there, mentor young players if they do bring in young guys. And I think that it would that it would bolster their secondary from last year. Not only that, but it's a guy who's played against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, had success against the Chiefs. So I think he kind of understands that aspect of the team that you face, that the, the Goliath that you face that you couldn't quite bring down the first time around. I think he helps that defense bolsters, gives him a lot of help uh, with, with that aspect. Um, the, the saving of $2 because he's only going to be about $7 million cap hit to Richard Truman. What Richard Truman's nine was this year is, is huge as well. It is definitely an upgrade, like Horst said. Um, I don't think I'd go higher than about a fifth round pick in, in that, with that second with that second draft pick added in to sweeten the deal uh, because you only have them for one year guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Tough to want to give up anything more than just than just that on top of the second round the second round pick as well for him. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't see any reasons why. And the big thing is, is like Horst said, is the amount of doors that it opens. Um, there's so many different combinations. You could go with Gilmore and Verrett. You could go Gilmore, not have to pay Verrett, bring back Emmanuel mm -hmm. Mosley and draft a guy. You don't even have to necessarily draft a guy in the first round. Um, and if you're not in love with somebody with that 12th, 12th round, that 12th overall pick in the first round this year, you can trade back a little bit now, add maybe another piece and another pick in the second round, maybe or the third round, and go after a corner then as well. It just opens up so many doors and potential avenues, and you don't have to overpay for the guy. Yeah, exactly. You could trade back and move off one of those guys that you thought you were going to get at 12. You can move back and maybe take like a J.C. Horn later on at at the corner position, and you know set him up with Gilmore. The other thing that we got to remember is that all of that $7 million, you could also re-sign uh, re him to an extended deal and then change the money that's you know due in 2021. So there is a lot of possibilities for them. I think that is the key, though, is improving the position. That would be a stark improvement over 32-year-old Richard Sherman. Nothing against Sherman. He's just a step slower than he was. He's still one of the most cerebral play players, but this guy opens up the 49ers defense because Richard Sherman was kind of pigeonholed into playing the cover three scheme. This guy can play man, he can play cover three, he can do a lot of different things. So with like a player like Jason Brett and him together, both are great in man, press coverage, and also in the cover three, the flexibility that the 49ers would afford by having both those guys at the corner positions would definitely make the best defensive back scenario for the 49ers that they've had in years mm -hmm. this would be an elite secondary to go with an already outstanding defensive line i would 100 percent make this move for a two and a six and get get it done make sure i got this guy locked up because i know he is better than jason brett and he's an improvement over richard sherman my ultimate goal would be to bring jason brett at a you know affordable price i don't know what that is going to be of course that's a dream that i would like to have is those two guys together i don't know financially it works gilmore would be my number one option brett would be number two in this scenario and then everybody off you know off of that i think k1 williams is probably going to get broke off by the jets and Good i think chance. richard sherman is going is flirting around with the raiders that's probably going to happen there 
uh, he doesn't want to pay any state tax, so that's where he's going to be going. <laughs> and I think that you know there are options for the 49ers for that nickel corner, but they do have to figure out the secondary, and I think this is a way to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm all in on this one. If if that price is true, what yeah. we're hearing, um, if that price is true, what we're hearing, I'm all in on this move. I think this would be a huge addition to their de- already very good defense. Um, that's a problem if they have a healthy pass rush and Gilmore and Verrett on the corners. That's a problem for every team they face. Yep, big time. Absolutely. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button while you're at it as well, that notification bell. Let us know in the comment section down below whether or not you would bring in Stephon Gilmore. What would you be willing to give him up? And what options do the 49ers have if we bring in Stephon Gilmore? We want to hear from you. Let us know in the comment section below. Yep. Who would you pair him with? If you traded for Stephon Gilmore, who would you pair him with? And would you trade back in that scenario from 12? And who would you take? Would you then focus on an edge rusher, Gregory Russo, Quiddy Pay, somebody like that? Or would you go ahead and just draft a young corner to play with him? I really want to know what people have to say. Yeah, I'm curious what you guys feel. Let us know. Absolutely. Until next time, stay safe. Remember the right way. Is always the 49ers way. We want Gilmore. <laughs>